Xin chào, welcome to Pilates with Hena and today is gonna be the most special workout ever in this channel we're gonna do two hours Pilates workout to strengthen your whole body and to help you burn some calories so if you're ready, just run your mat I dare you to do this challenge with me Now let's start by allow yourself to stand tall with your back in neutral, belly button in and open your legs here with apart. Now I want you to pull your belly button in and keep your back in neutral position. Shoulders down, chest open and close your eyes. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Inhale. And exhale. You can put your hand on your rib cage here. Inhale and feel your rib cage is open. And exhale, get all the air out of your lungs. Very good. And I want you to slowly still close your eyes and feel your body connecting to the mat through your feet. See how your body keep balance here on the mat. And I want you to inhale and exhale. Very good. Now, I want you to keep your back in neutral here and slowly lean backward, lean forward just a little bit and then lean backward. So keep breathing, engage your core. Just kind of like just move your body a little bit to really feel how your body moving here and see how the movement is controlled by your breath so keep breathing and then come back shake your legs a little bit here now shoulders down rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse and one more time inhale deeply to your nose and exhale reverse all right and now from here, I want you to bring your arms all the way up to the ceiling and tuck your tailbone forward, really pull your belly button in. Now chin to chest and roll each vertebra at a time down to the mat. Relax your hand, relax your head and slowly come up on the exhalation. Lengthen your spine, stand tall again and now again, inhale, lift and exhale, ride your spine, chin to chest and bring it down, relax your hand and your head. And again, come up on the exhalation slowly we're going to do it three more times, stay with your own breath. So inhale up and exhale, chin to chest, roll each vertebra at a time down. Belly button all the way in and come back slowly. Shoulders down, two, inhale and exhale. Really squeeze your booty muscles and squeeze your inner thighs if you can and slowly come up. Shoulders down, inhale, lift and round your spine. Relax your hand and your head. Now from here, I wanted to inhale and Put your forearms down to the mat. Now lengthen and keep your shoulders far away from your ears. Now lift your heels up and slowly bring it down. 10 times so with your own breath and keep breathing. Inhale up, exhale down and nine. Belly button in, eight. Keep breathing, seven, six. And five more times here. Four, three, beautiful, two. And last one, inhale, lift, exhale down and shake your legs, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth, roll each vertebra at a time, stand tall and shoulders down again, very good. I want you to inhale and still keep your legs open here with the part here and open your arm to the side, now start to pumping, inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, make a little pull with, with your whole arms, shoulders down and make sure you lengthen your neck, look towards the front, use your whole arms to pump, not just your wrist. So keep breathing, inhale, exhale, and five more times, stay with your own breath. Keep breathing, really engage your core and belly button in, and we're practicing the breath to prepare for the 100 movement we're going to do in the middle of the exercise. So just stay tuned and wait for the most interesting part. Now we're warming up a little bit here, but make sure you keep breathing and don't hold your breath. And three. Two, back in neutral, belly button in to support your lower back and contract your pelvic floor muscles here, last one. And exhale. And slowly reach your hands to one side and to the other side. Keep breathing here with your own breath. Try to reach a little bit more. And five, to the other side. Four, keep breathing here with your own breath. And two, belly button in, feel your waist is lengthening. Now last one, inhale. And exhale, come back to the other side and to the other side to make it balanced on both sides. Bring it back to the center. Bring your arms down, rotate shoulders 
and reverse. Now again, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now you want to allow yourself to bring your arms all the way up again and palms facing each other. You can soften your knees a little bit here. We don't want to put a lot of pressure on your ankle, so we don't want to lock your knee here. Now inhale, bring your arms down and exhale lift. Inhale down, lengthen your neck and look towards the front. And keep breathing here with your own breath. Do it slowly, as slow as you can. And six, we're warming up your whole upper body here. Very good. And three, Beautiful, keep breathing too. And last one, and lift. And now slowly bring your arms down to the side. Inhale, lean on one side, start bending. Exhale, come back. Make sure you stabilize your hips and only the torso is moving. So keep breathing here with your own breath. Inhale, and exhale, come back to the other side and back to the center. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, come back. And five, very good, keep breathing. Four belly button all the way in to the other side and three really pull your belly button here I want you to reach as far as you can and always keep your arm parallel to the floor when you bring your arm back to the center very good inhale and exhale to the other side and one more time and slowly bring it back to the center and bring your arms now rotate the shoulders now reverse all right very good now I want you to inhale and bring your hands on hand here. Now make sure your hips stabilized here and just only always face forward. So your arms to the front and soften your knees. Inhale, rotate the torso to one side. Exhale, come back to your opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center. We're gonna do it five more times each side here with your own breath. So keep breathing for really stabilize your hips here and really pull your belly button in. Very good, three to the other side. And two more times here. Beautiful. Now last one. To the other side. And to the other side to make a balance on both sides again. And bring your arms down. Rotate your shoulders. And reverse. Inhale deeply through your nose. Rotate your wrist. And reverse. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now I want you to allow yourself to stand in the middle of the mat. Open your legs here with the part here. I really want you to pull your belly button in here. Inhale, exhale, flex forward and bring your arm, your torso to the front and then come back, shoulders down, stand tall again. We're going to do it eight more times with your own breath, so really try your best here. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, bring it back, engage your core, keep breathing and make sure you soften your knees a little bit. Inhale and exhale. Very good. And six. Try to reach your arms a little bit further, like someone pulling your arms away from the center. Beautiful. Keep breathing here. And four more times, do with your own breath. Really engage your core and try to flex forward a little bit more if you can. Soften your knees and really flex your hips to a nice 90 degree here. And then come back. Beautiful. And two more times, do with your own breath. Exhale, bring it back. And the last one, inhale. And exhale slowly, come back, shoulders down, shake your legs a little bit, very good. Now you want to inhale and put your hand on opposite thigh. Open your arms all the way to the back. So really feel your waist is twisting here. Now hold it here, inhale. And exhale, and to your opposite side here. So keep breathing here with your own breath. And slowly come back to the center. Rotate your shoulder, rotate your wrist. Now again, I want you to allow yourself to keep your arms, your legs here with the part. Now soften your knees and then bring your hand behind your head here. So inhale and lift your heels up and exhale, bring it down. Make sure when you do that, you keep your back in neutral position. Don't arch your back and don't rise your spine. Just really keep it in the middle here. So inhale and lift and exhale, slowly bring it down. Lengthen your neck and keep breathing. We're gonna do it eight more times so with your own breath. I want you to do it really slowly and listen to your body here. Do it with control, so use the breath to control the movement. Very good. And five more times, stay with your own breath. Make sure you press your shoulders all the way down, far away from your ears. Four, soften your knees, slowly with your breath. Three, keep breathing, and two. Now last one, lift, and slowly bring it down. Shake your legs here, still keep your hands behind your head. Now I want you to inhale and slowly make sure that you engage your core, hips stabilize. Now roll your spine, chin, your chest and flex forward again open your arms to the back 
and slowly close your arm to the front and draw each vertebra at a time up to standing position so we're going to do it five more times so with your own breath now round your spine still soft in your knees so if you need to engage your core open your arms up and slowly bring your arms your elbows down a little bit and lengthen your spine again we're going to do it three more times so with your own breath so keep breathing round your spine here try to open your elbows wider engage your core and then come back lengthen your spine and two Round your spine, engage your core, belly button in. And the last time, inhale, round your spine, open, exhale, come back and slowly lengthen your body here. Shake your legs, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now I want you to allow yourself to open your arms to the spine again and now keep your feet to the V stance here so your knees facing outward. Pull your belly button in, now lift your heels up. And exhale slowly bring it down 10 times so with your own breath so keep breathing nine eight lengthen your neck and always make sure that you look towards the front beautiful seven squeeze your booty if you can squeeze in the thighs at the same time and six five keep breathing four beautiful three feel your whole legs your booty working here and burning and two and the last one lift and slowly bring your heels down come back shake your legs inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now i want you to allow yourself to open your legs here with the part here we're gonna squat down so when you squat down i want you to make sure that your knees just bend down not over your toes here and then your hips bring your hands to the front and just slightly flex forwards and don't arch your back or don't ride your spine just really keep it in the middle here now bring your hips down and then lift it up we're gonna do it 10 times so with your own breath. So keep breathing, engage your core belly button in and squeeze your booty, lengthen your neck, look towards the front. Very good. Up and down. And really use your core to support your lower back. Engage your core as much as possible. Now, if you can, I challenge you to go all the way down, just like Asian squat and then lift it up. And so inhale down and exhale lift. I'm going to do it four more times so with your own breath. So keep breathing, go as deep as you can. Press your whole feet down and really pull your belly button in to support your lower back. And two. Beautiful. Now last one. Inhale. And exhale slowly, lengthen all the way up. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now I want you to open your legs as wide as you can, wider than your hips. And slowly turn your toes to the outside I want you to inhale and bend your knees down so again your knee just on top of your ankle here now keep your back in neutral and pull your belly button in I want you to start to make a little pulse here with your hips and 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and one slowly lengthen all the way up inhale deeply to your nose shake your legs a little bit if you need to exhale deeply to your mouth you're gonna do it again so inhale down and start to make a little pulse here in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly lengthen all the way up. Very good. Now one more time here. So I wanted to really take a deep breath before we start again. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Good. And now go all the way down and make a little pulse again in 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three two and one beautiful lengthen your legs all the way up and keep your feet together so shake your legs inhale deeply through your nose exhale deeply through your mouth very good now i want you to come to the beginning of the mat here open your legs with a pat here and roll your spine chin your chest bring your hands down walk your hand to the middle of the mat here and now keep your hips and your knees together so this time i want you to inhale and bring your leg all the way up so make sure that you keep your hips stabilized and balanced and start to make a little pulse here so 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 soften your bottom knee if you need to and slowly bring it down to your opposite side inhale lift and start to make a little pulse again and 5 4 3 2 and 1 slowly bring it down walk your hand even further and slowly bend your knees come to try pose inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now i want you to allow yourself to come to own proposition position here 
open your legs maybe the part and your arms shoulders apart now imagining that you have the eyes on the elbow just rotate the face each other now inhale and dip your shoulders down between your arms and lift it up I'm gonna do it a couple more times stay with your own breath nine eight seven six and five four belly button all the way in shoulder awareness don't add your back here now last one and slowly articulate your spine shoulders down inhale look up now roll your spine chin to chest each vertebra at a time here you can plant our flex with your feet and then articulate your spine again shoulders down hold it here for a couple more times belly button all the way in and then come back again and roll your spine squeeze your body squeeze your inner thighs and belly button in to support the lower back so last one right your spine and slowly bring it back to neutral shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth very good now I want you to allow yourself to try to focus on the balance in this next movement so keep your heels and your knees together here and I want you to inhale try to bring one leg to the back and then lengthen one opposite arm to the front and then come back so we're gonna do it in one side first for 10 times before we move to the other side very good keep breathing and seven six inhale lengthen exhale come back make sure your hips stabilize and feel like someone pull your leg and your arm to the opposite way far away from your hips here keep breathing really engage your core very good and four three belly button all the way in try to reach as far as you can two and the last one and slowly bring it down shake your legs inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and we move to the other side so again inhale lengthen exhale come back and keep breathing here with your own breath belly button in lengthen and slowly come back and seven six and five four lengthen come back three more times here two squeeze your body and last one inhale and exhale slowly come back shake your legs inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now when you allow yourself to tap your feet here and slowly put your shoulders far away from your ears open your legs to be the part you can always make a fist here to support the wrist if you need to and always remember to rotate the eyes on the elbows to face each other engage your core inhale lift your knees up and exhale bring it down 10 times so with your own breath so keep breathing nine eight seven six five four three belly button all the way in and the last one lift and slowly bring it down inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth you can rotate the wrist a little bit and reverse so when you're ready we're gonna do it one more time here shoulders far away from your ears and eyes on the elbows rotate to face each other now inhale lift the knees up exhale bring it down inhale up and exhale down very good keep breathing here with your own breath belly button in and squish in the thighs squish your booty and five four three two and then last one and slowly bring it down come to try pose again rotate the wrist and reverse inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now when you allow yourself to move forward a little bit so you lengthen one leg to the back make sure you don't shift your hip one side higher than the other one just really rotate it down to face to the mat now lengthen your neck i want you to inhale and lift your leg up exhale bring it down a couple more times stay with your own breath and keep breathing inhale lift and exhale down and up and down and lift squeeze your thigh really squeeze your booty muscles and activate your foot here try to lengthen your leg all the way to the back like someone pulling your leg away from your hips so keep breathing here with your own breath beautiful inhale up and exhale down good keep breathing and five contract your pelvic floor muscles if you can and don't hold your breath and last one 
and slowly bring it down, bend your knee to the other side. So again, keep your hips stabilized and lengthen your neck here. So I wanted to inhale and lift the leg up, exhale, bring it down. Keep breathing here with your own breath and up and down and really pull your belly button towards the spine here. Very good, keep breathing. Beautiful, inhale and exhale. Really squeeze your booty and try to lift your leg as high as you can. So, very good. I wanted to do it five more times, so with your own breath. And four, lengthen your neck, always make your shoulders far away from your ears. Two, and the last one, and slowly bend your knees down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, you can come up and rotate your wrist, and reverse, exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, now the next movement, I wanted to allow yourself to come to on forward position again. Now this time, I wanted to inhale and keep your hips and your knees together here. Tuck on foot and lengthen one leg to the back. I wanted to inhale and try to rotate your face uh, to the eyes on the elbows to face each other. Now inhale and lift your knees up. Exhale, bring it down. I'm going to do it 10 times on each side. So inhale, lift. Exhale, down. And nine. Keep breathing. Really engage your core here. Seven. Six. Belly button all the way in. Squeeze your body and keep your hips stabilized. Four. Three, very good. And two more times here with your own breath. And last one. And slowly bring your knees down, shake your hips, and to the other side. So touch your foot again. Make sure the eyes on the elbows rotate to face each other and, and activate your foot. So inhale, lift, exhale down. Keep breathing here with your own breath. Belly button all the way in. Beautiful. And we're gonna do it five. Lift, four. Contract your pelvic floor muscle here. And three, two, and last one. And slowly bring it down, come to try pose. Reach your hand towards the front, rotate your wrist, and reverse. Inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your stomach. So, Put your forearms to the front of the mat of your chest here and put your shoulders far away from your ears. I want you to activate your feet here. Lengthen your neck and look towards the top of the mat. Now inhale and exhale. Tap, tap with your leg to the other side. So make sure you stabilize your hips here to really feel your quads is stretching. Keep breathing, really pull your belly button in to protect your lower back. I want to do it 10 times each side here. So exhale, inhale, lengthen, exhale, come back. Inhale, lengthen and come back. Really squeeze your thighs and activate the feet here. I'm going to do it six more times here with your own breath. And five to the other side. Make sure you always put your shoulders far away from your ears and double tap with your bending knees. Beautiful. And three more times there with your own breath. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Two to the other side, and last one, to the other side, and slowly bring it down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth, very good. And I wanted to allow yourself to put your, for your hand neck to your chest, and close your elbows all the way to the back, lengthen your neck and look down to the mat, open your legs a bit apart here, so now I want you to inhale and press your torso up, and exhale slowly bring it down, I'm going to do it 10 times, so with your own breath. Now let's see if you can really lengthen your arms all the way up but make sure you listen to your lower back here. So pull your belly button in to protect your lower back and keep breathing. So some of my clients only can go up here and it's totally fine because it's based on your bone structure and also the flexibility but so really listen to your body and do what you feel the best here. So listen to your lower back and really pull your belly button in, keep breathing. Do it really slowly to feel the gravity on your arms and your shoulders and working it here, your upper body. Very good. Inhale, lift and exhale down. So we're going to do it five more times with your own breath and keep breathing. Press your hip bones down to the mat and four, three, inhale, lift, exhale down, two, exhale very deeply use the breath to control the movement and last one and slowly bring it down 
when you head to the front rotator wrist if you need to inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth all right now you're going to allow yourself to make a pillow under your forehead here put your shoulders far away from your ears and inhale lift one leg up exhale lift the other leg up activate your feet and start to beat your heels together we're going to do it 10 9 8 belly button all the way in to protect your lower back squeeze your booty squeeze your thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscles if you can or at the same time to really feel the movement and five four three two and one slowly bring your legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth very good now the next movement bend your knees here stick your toes together and i want you to inhale lift your legs up at the same time and then come back make sure you always press your shoulders down towards your hips and if you're a beginner you're going to make it easier or if you just want to save your energy for the long workout you can always go each leg at a time so really listen to your body otherwise i really want you to challenge yourself by doing both legs at the same time squeeze your booty belly button in and eight seven engage your core try to reach as high as you can listen to your lower back here and really pull your belly button in and four three belly button all the way in to activate your feet and last one and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth i was really excited today all right now from here i wanted to allow yourself to still keep the hands behind your head here under your head and put your shoulders far away from your ears now i wanted to inhale activate your feet and lift both legs up at the same time and slowly bring it down 10 times so with your own breath so keep breathing nine belly button all the way in eight seven keep breathing and six belly button all the way in and hip bones down to the mat very good and five more times here four three two and last one and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth all right now you're going to allow yourself to bring your hands over your head here so make sure that you put your chest up and keep your shoulders far away from your ears still belly button in lift your legs up at the same time and start to pumping like we're swimming here inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth and we're gonna do it eight more cows here so i want you to really do it as quick as you can and as much as you can if you can try to big make a range of the movements bigger so really listen to your body and don't hold your breath use the breath to control the movement here and five four stabilize your hips belly button in three two and last one slowly come to try pose inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth shake your hips inhale and exhale now let's go to sit in the middle of the mat here so Bend your knees, hip width apart, press your feet down and lengthen your spine here. I want you to inhale and bring your arms to the front, palms facing to each other. Lengthen your spine, slide back to open your chest. Really pull your belly button in. Now inhale backward and exhale, come back. Contract your pelvic floor muscle here. Keep breathing here with your own breath. Try to go as far as you can. So really listen to your body. Inhale and exhale, come back. We're going to do it eight more times. Stay with your own breath and keep breathing. Inhale exhale bring it back seven six belly button all the way in and five keep breathing here with your own breath four try to lengthen your arms shoulders far away from your ears and open your chest and three keep breathing two and last one and slowly bring it back Inhale deeply to your nose, you can hug your knees to your chest, exhale deeply to your mouth. Alright, now I want you to allow yourself to lengthen your spine again and then inhale, lean backward. Now open your chest up, 
put your chest up and really pull your belly button in inhale rotate your torso to one side exhale come back inhale to your opposite side and exhale bring it back to the center we try to do it a couple more times so with your own breath keep breathing make sure when you rotate your torso you still press your feet down to the mat and your legs are not moving press your sitting bones down to the mat and really pull your belly button in a couple more times here inhale and exhale to the other side and come back we're gonna do it six more times stay with your own breath keep breathing and five belly button all the way in four three lengthen your spine look towards the front two and the last one inhale exhale come back inhale to the other side and exhale bring it back to the center hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth all right very good i want you to inhale and put your four hands behind your hips here close your elbows all the way to the back and put your shoulders far away from your ears now lean back what activate your feet here i want you to inhale and slide your heel towards the hips and then lengthen it again to the other side now look towards the front and i want you to make sure that you engage your core here use the core to stabilize your hips and really pull your belly button towards the spine to support the lower back here inhale and exhale come back to the other side someone tried to take in pictures with her keep breathing here with your own breath very good i feel quite bad when sometimes i just recording and then boy just like kind of like going to my friends with people but then he's just jump up and kind of like impolite but i cannot just stop in between the record because i have to record right so i feel quite bad but normally he's being very friendly and sweet to the other side so keep breathing don't hold your breath and i want you to ignore everything that i say outside of the exercise if it makes you feel like hard to focus on the breath and engage your core so keep breathing and five more times stay with your own breath make sure when you do this always put your chest up engage your core and belly button in shoulders down far away from your ears and three inhale lengthen and bend exhale come back use the breath to control the movement very good and last one inhale and exhale come back to the other side and slowly bring it back hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth we started from when it's still half of sunlight and now it's kind of like the sunset is going so i hope that we can finish it before the dark all right very good now really close your elbows all the way towards the back inhale and lift your hips all the way up and exhale slowly bring it down we're gonna do it a couple more times stay with your own breath very good inhale lift do it really slowly here exhale down and up and bring it down keep breathing six more times stay with your own breath and five belly button all the way in always soften your elbows if you need to four keep breathing here with your own breath and three <sighs> try to reach your hips as high as you can make sure you always put your shoulders far away from your ears otherwise you're gonna feel kind of tense on your shoulders and the last one hug your knee to your chest inhale deep into your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now you want to allow yourself to lie all the way on your back so arms along your body and bring your legs up to 90 degree activate your feet i want you to inhale and reach your hand towards your heels here keep your hips square your knees square inhale bring your leg down exhale lift it up inhale to the other side and exhale back to the center really pull your belly button in we're gonna do it 10 times here each side so keep breathing nine very good to the other side eight it's been raining for the whole week so I don't really bring Bert to the beach a lot and so he's really happy when he comes back to the beach again and he's just running like crazy very good we're gonna do it five more times so you really keep your back in neutral I want you to really pull your belly button in keep your whole arms down to the mat and three to the other side two engage your core as much as possible and last one inhale 
and exhale, come back to the other side and slowly bring it back. Now you're going to inhale and try to challenge yourself a little bit by bringing both legs to the mat and then bring it back. So make sure when you do this, you always have to keep your back in neutral position. If you feel like your back starts to arch, you can always just bring your legs to the part that you feel like it's starting to arch and then bring it back right away so we don't let your back arching here. Just really keep breathing and press your belly button in, press your whole lower back down to the mat. Keep breathing, inhale and exhale, come back, very good. Now challenge yourself by go a little bit further and all the way down to the mat if you can. And again, always really listen to your body here. So we're going to do it five more times here with your own breath. Keep breathing and four, inhale down, exhale back, three, really engage your core here. And two more times here, belly button all the way in and last one, inhale and exhale, slowly bring it back. Lengthen your legs all the way up, activate your feet, open your legs to the side and then bring it back to the center. When you do this, I wanted to make sure your hips stabilize and balance here. So inhale, open, exhale, come back. And 10 more times, do with your own breath. Squeeze your thighs to bring your legs back to the center. Nine, keep breathing. Eight, belly button all the way in. And seven, engage your core as much as possible. Six, very good. And five more times here with your own breath. Four. Beautiful. Three. Engage your core as much as possible. Two. And last one. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly bring it back. Hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright. Now you want to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degree again. And at this time, inhale, bring one leg down. And then move one knee towards the chest. And then switch to the other side like we're working with your knees 90 degree on and we're walking in the air here so keep breathing inhale and exhale belly button all the way in engage your core as much as possible i want you to feel your lower abs working here with your back in neutral and press your whole shoulder blades down to the mat beautiful and five more times stay with your own breath four slowly engage your core three two and the last one and slowly bring your knees back to the chest hug your knee inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now the next movement i wanted to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degree again now dorsi flex with your feet inhale lengthen one leg to the front and then bring it back to the other side and bring it back we're going to do it 10 times here each side here with your own breath so keep breathing Make sure when you bring it back, keep your knee in 90 degree and really engage your core here. The lower your leg is, the more challenging your core is. So keep breathing. Very good. Inhale and exhale. And seven to your left. Six, belly button all the way in. And five more times here with your own breath. Keep breathing. Four. Three, lengthen, come back to the other side and two more times here. Now last one, inhale, lengthen, exhale, come back to the other side and slowly bring your legs down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now I want you to inhale and press your feet down, open your legs, heavy to pat. We're gonna do breaching here, so tuck the tailbone forward, draw your hips all the way up to the ceiling, press your feet down, keep your legs parallel and knees to facing up to the sky and slowly draw your hips down each vertebra at a time. Now again, tuck the tailbone forward and draw your hips all the way up. And exhale, slowly bring it down. So we're gonna do it a couple more times. So with your own breath, inhale and exhale. And seven, keep breathing here. Reach your hand towards your heels for more support and lift your shoulder, or lift your hips as high as you can until you feel your booty muscles. So you want you to squeeze your booty here and three more times so with your own breath keep breathing very good two and last one inhale and exhale slowly bring it down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now i want you to allow yourself to press your feet down and draw your hips all the way up again 
Now inhale and lift one heel up and exhale, bring it down to the other side, come back. So we're going to do it a couple more times here, really switch your leg without moving your hips. Really keep your hips stabilized here. And you may question why I just sometimes, once in a while, I have to look at the, the um, clock to see how many minutes that I go because my camera only do like 30 minutes one, in one shot. So I have to stop every 30 minutes to put the restart again, otherwise I cannot have the footage after that. Because it's like 4K, so my camera cannot really take long shot. <laughs> Very good. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale to the other side and five. Three, belly button all the way in, try to reach your hips as high as you can. And the last one, lift to the other side and slowly bring it down. Draw your hips all the way down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now I want you to allow yourself to again lift your hips all the way up and lift both heels up at the same time and then come back. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Now again, try to reach your hips as far as you can and still keep your hips balanced and stabilized. Now heels up at the same time. I want you to make sure you feel balanced on both sides. Knees facing up to the ceiling, legs parallel and toes pointing forward to the front. Really keep breathing here in five, four, three. Feel your calves working here, two. And last one, lift and slowly draw your hips all the way down. Hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, very good. Now I want you to allow yourself to lift your head and your shoulder off the mat. Use your hand to help your knee and lengthen your leg all the way to the front. So we're gonna do um, single leg stretch here. Inhale and exhale, switch. Make sure when you do this, you always keep one fist distant from your chin to your chest and lift your chest a little bit higher to really feel your six like abs working here. We're gonna do it 10 more times each side here with your own breath. And nine, keep breathing. Eight, beautiful, seven, and six, five, four, belly button all the way in, three, engage your core, try to use your hand to pull your knee towards your chest even more, activate your feet, and the last one, and slowly bring your head down, hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply through your nose, rotate your ankle, and exhale deeply through your mouth, very good. Now the next one, I want you to lengthen your leg all the way up. Use your hand to help your knees here and lengthen the other leg to the front. Lift your head and your shoulder off the mat. And again, keep one fist distant from your chin to your chest here. Now, if you want more challenge, or we can lift your hand all the way towards the ankle. Inhale and exhale, switch. So we're going to do it a couple more times with your own breath. Really use your hand to pull your leg towards your chest more and try to lengthen your leg all the way to the front. So we're going to do it 10 to the other side, belly button in, chest even higher. If you feel tight on your neck, you can always use your hand to support your head and try to lengthen your leg all the way up. Otherwise, just really use your hand to pull it more. And really engage your core, stick your lower back down to the mat. Engage your core as much as possible and contract your pelvic floor muscles as much as possible. And six, five, exhale. Every time you switch and don't hold your breath, four, Three, belly button all the way in. And two more times, stay with your own breath. Keep breathing, and last one. To the other side, and slowly bring your head down, hug your knee to your chest, bring your legs from left to right. Inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, now the next movement, I wanted to inhale and lift your head up, use your hand to support your head. Open your elbows wider, and press your leg down, press your feet down to the mat. Open your elbows, press your shoulders down towards your hips. Now I want to keep one fist distant from your chin to your chest here. Inhale and exhale, try to reach your chest up and bring it down. We're going to do crunch here. So inhale and exhale, reach. Inhale down and exhale, lift and slowly bring it down. Open your elbows wider. We're going to do it eight more times so with your own breath. Seven and six and five. Keep breathing here. Three, very good. Belly button all the way in. Two, 
the last one and slowly bring your head down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now you want to allow yourself to bring your legs up to 90 degrees lift your head and your uh, shoulders off the mat use your arms to parallel to the floor activate your feet here and start to pump in your hands so inhale two three four five exhale two three four five and we're going to do it 10 times here so with your own breath so keep breathing activate your feet always make sure you keep your hips 90 degree your knees 90 degree and use your hand to support your head if you need to so keep breathing stick your lower back down to the mat and six more breaths here deep breath deep breath belly button all the way in inhale exhale really feel your core working here lift your chest even higher to feel more and activate your feet three two and last one and slowly bring your head down hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now bring your legs from left to right and a couple more times here inhale deeply and exhale deeply and slowly bring your feet down inhale and exhale all right now I want you to allow yourself to keep your arms along your body again and now slowly lift one leg up to 90 degree make sure you keep your hips stabilized here I want you to tuck the tailbone forward and press your foot down to the mat chin to chest and draw your hips all the way up hold it here and bring your legs up and down without changing the angle on your knee here so we're going to do it 10 times so with your own breath nine keep breathing chin to chest really keep your hips as high as you can and pull your belly button in seven six and five very good four three more times so with your own breath two and the last one inhale and exhale slowly draw your hips all the way down bring your leg down into the other side activate your foot again chin to chest and draw your hips all the way up and slowly bring it down and then come back so 10 more times so with your own breath keep breathing nine eight squeeze your booty lift your hips as high as you can and six five belly button all the way in four squeeze your booty muscles two and last one inhale and exhale slowly bring your hips down hug your knee to your chest again shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth now you want to inhale and hands support your head open your elbows wider now inhale and bring one knee to chest and lengthen one leg to the front start to reach your hand your chest to opposite knee here so inhale and exhale reach inhale come back to your opposite side we're going to do it 10 times each side here with your own breath I want you to try to lengthen your leg all the way to the front and try to lift your opposite chest up so really engage your core and try to feel your core working so hard here I always say this is one of my favorite workouts of all the time so keep breathing try to reach a little bit more in 5 very good exhale every time you switch open your elbows wider three beautiful keep breathing two and last one and slowly bring it back hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now you want to allow yourself to slowly lift your arms all the way up and arms along your body here dorsi flex with your feet and then slowly inhale bring both legs down just to 45 degree open your leg to the side and then come back and lift it all the way up you don't have to go all the way down just really listen to your body and only bring your legs down to the part that you still feel like your back is not arching and in neutral position so keep breathing belly button all the way in inhale open and exhale come back every time both just ran over me it's a lot of sand on my face <laughs> and keep breathing very good inhale open and exhale come back <sighs> but I get used to that so it's okay we're working out on the beach so that's kind of normal
<laughs> very good I'm gonna do it five more times so with your own breath inhale inhale open exhale come back and four really pull your belly button in and feel the lower abs working here three keep breathing two and last one exhale come back and slowly bring it back hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth you can rotate your ankle a little bit and then reverse now I wanted to try to challenge yourself a little bit here so go all the way to the begin uh, to the front of the mat and keep your arms along your body here now lift your legs up here I wanted to inhale and try to press your arms down so this is gonna be a intermediate advanced movement so if you are a beginner you can just always try to reach your hips as high as you can and as much as you can really engage your core and really try your best but make make sure that when you do that just really engage your core and press your whole shoulder blades and down to the mat now the actual movement i wanted to inhale and lift your hips up onto your legs parallel to the floor here so dorsi flex open your leg to the side and use your core to roll each vertebra at a time down to the mat just make it really slowly pull your toe up to the ceiling now again inhale lift engage your core here and dorsi flex chin your chest to protect your neck and now engage your core each vertebra at a time i want you to press your whole arms and shoulder blades down to the mat to support so again inhale up and dorsi flex open and exhale slowly bring it down each vertebra at a time here so we're going to do it two more times so with your own breath open and come back and last one inhale open and slowly bring it all the way down and hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now i want you to allow yourself to bring your legs all the way up to the sky dorsi flex with your feet arms along your body and bend your knees to 90 degree and then inhale lengthen your legs all the way up and then bring it down make sure your hips square your knees lengthen all the way up and then bend to 90 degree when you bring it down and then lift it up all the way again and down squeeze your thighs and make sure you press your shoulder blades down to the mat really pull your belly button in to support your lower back and reach your whole arms down to the mat reach your whole legs up to the ceiling so keep breathing inhale all the way up and exhale slowly bend and lengthen belly button in always feel your whole legs is lengthening here and then come back keep breathing inhale lengthen and exhale slowly bring it back and bring your legs down shake your hips hug your knee to your chest lift your head and shoulder off the mat now i wanted to inhale and open your arms over your head and your legs to the front and then come back hug your shin again inhale lengthen hands over your head exhale bring it back to the center lift your chest a little bit higher and stick your lower back down to the mat to protect your lower back really pull your belly button in one fist distant from your chin to your chest and keep breathing inhale and exhale activate your feet here and you don't have to bring it so high just really listen to your body the lower your legs are the more challenge your core in then keep breathing inhale and exhale hug your shin again you can always use your hand to support your head if you need to and keep breathing inhale lengthen exhale come back and a couple more times here with your own breath bring it back to the center lengthen and slowly come back and bring and bring your head and shoulders start hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now i want you to allow yourself to lengthen your legs all the way up again and slowly open your arms up to the ceiling now inhale and bring one leg to the front and one arm over your head your opposite hand and then come back to the center inhale to the other side and exhale bring it back to the center again inhale and exhale really keep your torso stabilized here pull your belly button in and keep breathing here with your own breath lengthen your leg all the way to the front and make sure you don't have to bring your legs so low just really listen to your lower back here make sure your lower back in neutral position lengthen and come back keep breathing here with your own breath and belly button in inhale lengthen 
and exhale, come back to the center. Beautiful. Inhale, and exhale, do it with your own breath and really use the breath to control the movement. Inhale, lengthen, come back. And to the other side, contract your pelvic floor muscles. Pull your belly button in and do it with your own speed. Very good. Keep breathing, inhale, and exhale to the other side and come back. And one more time here with your own breath to the other side and slowly bring it back. Bring your legs down, arms down, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth, rotate your ankle and reverse. Alright, now we need to allow yourself to lift your leg up to 90 degree again. Dorsi flex with your feet, arms along your body, press your whole arms down and try to open your knees wider and lengthen your legs. Bring your heels back to each other and then come back. Keep breathing, inhale and exhale. You can dorsi flex or you can pull your toes towards plantar flex as long as you keep your feet activated. So keep breathing, inhale, open, lengthen, exhale, come back. The toes try to touch each other and then lengthen to the side and back to the center. Really pull your belly button in here. Inhale and exhale, squeeze in the thigh, engage your core and keep breathing. And slowly bring your legs to the center, shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Now bring your legs up to 90 degree again and inhale, activate your feet. Open your arms to the side and start to bring your legs to one side and come back to the center inhale to your opposite side and exhale come back to the center here keep breathing do it with your own breath always press your shoulder blades down and make sure you keep your back in neutral engage your core as much as possible and only bring your legs to the point that you still feel like your back is still in support it with your core so keep breathing inhale and exhale come back to the other side and a couple more times here with your own breath inhale to the side and exhale come back to the center inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now once you really keep your feet activated here squeeze your thighs and lengthen your legs all the way up to the sky now bring one leg down and to the side, bring it back, drawing a half of the circle here. Inhale to the other side. And I want you to make sure that you press your whole arms down to the mat, shoulder blades down, squeeze your thighs when you bring your legs down and to the side, come back. Really make sure you keep your hips stabilized and hip bones pressed down to the mat, belly button in. Inhale and exhale halfway. Inhale to the other side and exhale halfway, come back couple more times here with your own breath belly button in beautiful inhale and exhale back to the center and to the other side and slowly come back very good we're gonna do it here make sure your shoulders far away from your ears and really pull your belly button in keep your back in neutral position inhale and exhale and to your left to your right And three more times each side here inhale down exhale come back inhale to your opposite side and exhale bring it back to the central two keep breathing really press your whole arms down to support for your back more and last one and slowly bend your knees shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good. Now we need to rotate your ankles and the reverse. When you're ready, allow yourself to lift your arms just above the floor and start to pump in your arms here. Palms facing up to the sky. I want you to inhale and bring your legs up to 90 degree. Activate your feet. Belly button in. Use your whole arms to pump here. And make sure you feel the gravity on your arms so keep breathing inhale and exhale naturally or you can try to make a longer breath here so really listen to your body here and belly button in and now i want you to lengthen your legs all the way up to the sky again open your arms to the side and start to bring your legs from left to right so make sure that you're lengthening your legs here all the way up 
or if you cannot really do that you can just always soften your knees a little bit if it helps so really listen to your body here and really engage your core keep breathing and make sure you keep the same angle on your knees and your hips feel your oblique it twisting here press your whole shoulder blades and your arms down to the mat so keep breathing here in and exhale come back to your opposite side and use your breath to control the movement here and back to the center inhale and exhale Try to now don't have to go really far just really listen to your lower back here and make sure when you bring your legs to one side you feel that your back is neutral and supported and I want you to inhale bend your knees down inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth now lengthen your legs all the way up again open your legs to the side and start to make a little pose activate your feet keep your feet plantar flex or dorsi flex if you want so keep breathing inhale and exhale and slowly come back to the center now when you to inhale open it one more time we're going to do a little pose keep breathing contract your pelvic floor muscles here very good and back to the center now one more time again inhale and exhale so really keep breathing naturally here squeeze your thighs squeeze your booty muscles and contract your pelvic floor muscles and come back inhale open start to pumping really feel your hips working here your inner thighs and your outer thighs very good and slowly belly button in keep back in neutral and back to the center hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and the last time squeeze in your thighs activate your feet still and now bring it back to the center hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth now i want you to put your leg down feet down to the mat and lengthen your legs open your legs if you're apart dorsiflex with your feet and bring your arms up to the sky palms facing each other now pull your belly button in inhale chin to chest roll each vertebra at a time up to sitting position and flex forward come back shoulders down chest open and roll your spine each vertebra at a time hands over your head and again back to the sitting position really use your core to flex forward and then pull your torso back and roll your spine chin to chest again bring it down inhale chin to chest and come back use the core to pull yourself up and slowly come back really engage your core and press your feet down try not to lift your legs up when you roll to sitting position here beautiful keep breathing exhale lift and flex inhale come back shoulders down and roll your spine going down to the mat again now I want you to allow yourself to lean on one side to do side kick series on one side so hand support your head and the other hand in front of your chest here put your shoulders far away from your ears and bring your legs up to the front of the mat now dorsiflex with your feet lift your legs just above the hip and lift it as high as you can and then bring it down so make sure your hips not lean forward or backward just really keep hip, hip on hip here now inhale lift exhale down and eight more times stay with your own breath Keep breathing, squeezing the thighs. Six and five. Belly button all the way in. Four. Three. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Two. And last one. And now from here, I want you to bend your bottom knee a little bit here. And then move your leg to the front and then to the back. So really stabilize your hips here and belly button in. We're going to do it eight more times. Stay with your own breath. Beautiful. Seven stabilize and really move it slowly with control use the breath to control the movement beautiful and six five keep breathing and four more times stay with your own breath three squeeze in the thighs control your pelvic floor muscles two beautiful now last one and slowly bring it back to the center lengthen both legs to the front again and plant up flex with your feet now i want you to start to make a circle around your leg and we make a tiny circle here 
but we're gonna feel really feel it on your leg and your hips here. So inhale 10, 9, 8, 7, stabilize your hips as always and pull your belly button in and 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, reverse 10 more times, stay with your own breath. So keep breathing, 8, 7, 6, and 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now I want you to lift as high as you can, dorsiflex, and start to make a little pulls here. Your bottom foot, just dorsiflex to keep balance easier. Beautiful. And 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly bring your legs down. Bend your knees to 90 degrees. I want you to inhale, activate your feet and lift your legs as high as you can and slowly bring it down. So always make sure your leg parallel to the floor here. Engage your core and use your whole leg to move. So keep breathing, inhale up and exhale down. And five more times, stay with your own breath. Four, three, two. And the last one, inhale. And exhale slowly, bring it down, shake your hips, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Now the next movement, I want you to activate your feet and open your knees wider and then slowly move your leg towards your chest and then come back. So always keep the same angle here, just move it up and slowly bring it down, toes touch each other and then lift and down and then up and slowly down seven more times, stay with your own breath. Six beautiful keep breathing and five squeezing the thighs contract your pelvic floor muscles here three two and last one inhale and exhale slowly bring your legs down shake your hips inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now i want you to lengthen your legs all the way to the front and dorsiflex with your feet lift your legs just about the hips and start to make a little pulse here and ten nine feel your whole hips burning here seven six and five four three two and one slowly bring your legs down bend your knees shake your hips inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth <sighs> all right very good now i want you to allow yourself to lean on the other side to do psychic series on the other side here so again hang support your head i have to move this to the back this can record all right good so hands support your head here and the other hand in front of your chest lengthen your legs to the front of the mat and make sure that your hips on hip not to the front not to the back just really stabilize here shoulders far away from your ears and dorsiflex with your feet now i want you to inhale and lift your leg as high as you can and slowly bring it down 10 times so with your own breath keep breathing nine and eight Slowly with your own breath, squeeze your thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscles. Six, five, and four, three, two, and last one. Inhale and slowly bring it down and then lift it up again. I'm going to soften your knees, your bottom knee here, and start to bring your leg to the front, dorsiflex with your feet, and then come to the back. So make sure you stabilize your hips here and keep breathing here with your own breath. Inhale forward, really squeeze your booty and slowly come back. And a couple more times, stay with your own breath. Belly button in. Very good. Inhale and exhale. And four. Squeeze your thighs and always make sure you keep your legs just about the hips here. Three, two, and last one. Inhale and exhale slowly, bring it back to the center. Now I want you to inhale and pour your toes to the front, plant up flex with your feet. Start to make a tiny circle here with your leg. Inhale, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one reverse so 10 more times your tiny circle and really engage your core to stabilize your hips very good and four three two and one now i want you to dorsiflex flex with your feet again leave it as high as you can and start to make a little pulse here without 
moving your hips so I wanted to press soften your knees your bottom knee and press your whole bottom leg down to the mat keep breathing in three two and one and slowly bring your leg down shake your hips now bend your knees to 90 degree here activate your feet and open your leg as wide as you can and then come back we're gonna do it 10 times here with your own breath so keep breathing inhale and exhale inhale lift and exhale down and seven more times here beautiful six keep breathing and five engage your core as much as possible four three and two more times here with your own breath now last one inhale and exhale slowly bring it down shake your hips inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now lift your knee up activate your feet here move your knee towards your chest and up and slowly bring it down again keep the same angle on your knee and keep breathing eight more times see with your own breath inhale lift and exhale down inhale and exhale very good keep breathing here beautiful up and down and five four try to touch your toes together and then lift three shoulders far away from your ears and really pull your belly button in two and last one inhale up exhale slowly bring your legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now lengthen your legs all the way to the front and dorsi flex with your feet i want you to lift your leg up and start to make a little pulse here so 10 9 8 7 6 and 5 4 3 2 and one slowly bring your legs down bend your knees use your hand to massage your hips if you need to so inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready i want you to allow yourself to come to own position again very good now from here i want you to allow yourself to open your legs a bit apart and open your arms shoulder apart put your shoulders far away from your ears and eyes on the elbows rotate to face each other hips on top of your knees now put your shoulders far away inhale and slowly bring your knee towards your elbows and then lengthen your leg all the way to the back so inhale and exhale keep breathing here with your own breath and 10 times in total very good contract your pelvic floor muscle here bend and lengthen and six keep breathing five really engage your core here and four belly button all the way in three more times see with your own breath two really belly pull your belly towards the spine to protect your lower back last one and lengthen reach all the way to the back and slowly bring it down shake your hips and now when you're ready we're gonna do it to the other side so again inhale knee to elbow and lengthen the, to the back lengthen your neck always and look down to the mat keep breathing here belly button all the way in very good exhale and inhale lengthen or you can reverse the breath if it's easier for you very good and six five try to lengthen like someone pulling your leg away from your hips four inhale exhale inhale lengthen and three more times there was your own breath two and last one and slowly bring your leg down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth good i went to challenge yourself a little bit here so put your forearms down to the mat your shoulders on top of your elbows touch your feet and i wanted to inhale lengthen your legs all the way to the back so from here lift your hips as high as you can and slowly shift your weight to the front inhale lift and exhale down keep breathing here with your own breath and i wanted to do it 10 more times here nine belly button in eight keep breathing seven engage your core as much as possible and six five all the way in and four really engage your core squeeze in your thighs three two and the last one lift and slowly bring it down hold it here for five four three two and one slowly bend your knees down come to try pulse inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth 
Alright, very good. Now, when to allow yourself to stand up on your knees here. Open your legs with the part here and bring your arms to the front, palms facing each other. Now, when you to inhale, slide back to open your chest. Engage your core and slowly lean backward. Keep your legs, keep your back in neutral and don't arch your back or your spine here. Just really try to keep your whole torso straightened here and belly button in. So we're going to move a little bit backward as far as you can go but really listen to your body here as long as you feel okay with your quad. So we're going to do it five more times, say with your own breath and four. Very good, three. Make sure you don't move your hips here, just really your hips go with your torso and open your chest up and last one, inhale and exhale slowly bring it back shoulders down, rotate your shoulders and reverse inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth alright, now I wanted to inhale lengthen your spine and keep your back in neutral still hand on hand here, now shoulders down, chest open and rotate your torso to one side come back to your opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center I'm gonna do it five more times each side with your own breath keep breathing and four three belly button all the way in and two slowly your hips still facing forward or your torso moving here and rotating here feel your oblique it twisting the last one to the other side and slowly bring it back to the central rotate your shoulders and reverse inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now i want you to allow yourself to put your forearms down to the mat and put your shoulders far away from your ears eyes on the elbows rotate to face each other come to full plank here so shoulders on top of your wrist here i want you to inhale and open your legs to the side hip shoulders apart hip width apart and then come back to the center and 10 times see with your own breath so keep breathing nine make sure you lengthen your neck and always look down to the mat here eight seven six i have told myself that i have to do this two hours workout for a very 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 long time but i never really did it and I was like, okay, this one year's anniversary, I really need to do this. And so here I am. Keep breathing open and come back in three. <sighs> Very good. Two, really engage your core here. And last one, keep breathing, don't hold your breath. And slowly bend your knees, come to try pose. Rotate your wrist, inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. <sighs> and one more deep breath here, inhale. And exhale. All right, very good. I wanted to allow yourself to lengthen your lie all the way down on your back again, on your stomach again. And now slowly inhale, interlace your finger to the front of your chest. Put your shoulders far away from your ears. Now inhale, open your legs a bit apart here. And exhale, double tap with one knee and then come back to the other side. Really engage your core 10 times each side to the other side. Make sure you really press your hip bones down to the mat and stabilize your hips. So only your legs is moving here to your opposite side. <sighs> Come back, exhale, inhale, bring it back to the center. So we're going to do it five more times here, each side with your own breath to the other side and four. <sighs> to your left, three, belly button all the way in and two more times here with your own breath. And the last one to the other side and slowly bring it down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Okay, very good. Now I want you to allow yourself to interlace your fingers all the way to the back. And lengthen your neck, open your legs with the part here. So now inhale, use your hands, your arms to pull your torso up. And exhale, when you bring it down, rotate your head to one side, bring it down to the mat. Inhale, lift, look down to the mat, lengthen your neck. Exhale, bring it down again to the other side. So really, Pull your belly button in here, engage your core and press your hip bones down to the mat. Keep stabilizing your hips here. We're going to do it six more times, so with your own breath. And five. <sighs> to the other side. Belly button all the way in. Four. Keep breathing. 
to the other side in three more times here to your opposite side and the last one to your opposite side and slowly bring it down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth very good now I want you to allow yourself to use bend your knees here and use your hand to hug your ankle lengthen your neck and put your shoulders far away from your ears and I want you to inhale and lift both legs up and slowly bring it down so really listen to your body here if you can press your hip bones down to the mat and inhale lift exhale down contract your pelvic floor muscle here so we're going to do it 10 more times so with your own breath keep breathing nice squeeze your booty really pull your belly button towards the spine to support your lower back very good seven keep breathing and six and five more times so with your own breath four inhale lengthen exhale come back and lift feel your quads really working here and two and the last one and slowly bring it down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth okay very good i just check if the audio is still working okay very good now from here put your forearms to the front and shoulders far away from your ears tuck your feet here now i want you to inhale bend your knees and lift your stomach off the mat here so engage your core your hip bones off the mat now inhale and tuck your feet lift your whole torso up to forearm plank so now i want you to inhale and bring your hips to one side come back to the other side so when you do this i want you to make sure you stabilize your torso only your hips moving from left to right really keep your shoulders on your elbows all the time and lengthen your neck look to the middle of your fingers here so we're gonna do it five more times each side keep breathing feel your oblique it twisting this is gonna shape up your waist really nice so really work on this and four belly button all the way in three two to the other side and last one to the other side and slowly back to the center hug your knee to your chest come to try pose inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now I want you to allow yourself to sit along the mat one more time so lengthen your legs here don't sit flex and open your legs hip width apart now I want you to open your arm to the side shoulders down chest open lengthen your spine and open the chest if you again need to support to lengthen your back more you can always just keep a pillow under it or a yoga block so rotate the torso to one side press your sitting bones down to the mat so only your torso moving here come back to the other side dorsi flex with your feet inhale and exhale back to the center feel your oblique here we're going to do it 10 times each side so keep breathing and nine exhale back to the center to your opposite side eight to the other side and seven very good keep breathing six belly button all the way in and five more times stay with your own breath four three two and the last one use the breath to control the movement and come back to the center arm to the front palms facing down activate your feet inhale and exhale reach forward inhale come back drop your shoulders down lengthen your spine exhale reach forward and inhale bring it back 10 times here with your own breath so keep breathing nine inhale come back eight lengthen lengthen your neck and look down to the mat when you reach forward and six more times stay with your own breath five four belly button in and three two and the last one and slowly bring it down rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right very good and now i wanted to inhale the next movement i wanted to slowly bring your arm to the front again and lean backwards here chest open now try to rotate the torso from left to right slowly with your own breath and we're going to do it at least 10 times each side so really keep breathing press your feet down press your sitting bones down and only your torso is rotating here feel your oblique it's getting darker and darker so at some point in the next stop i will have to 
try to adjust the camera to make it brighter keep breathing very good I'm going to do it five more times so with your own breath each side four to the other side and three two and last one and slowly come back to the center shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now I want you to allow yourself to put your forearms down to the mat shoulders on top of your elbows and put your shoulders far away from your ears make sure your chin to your chest and look towards the front now activate your feet I want you to inhale and really put your chest up pull your belly button in squeeze your thighs lift your leg up and slowly bring it down to the other side and then come back we're going to do it 10 times same with your own breath so keep breathing and nine try to lift as high as you can bring it down slowly and feel your leg is shaking very good inhale up exhale down to the other side really make sure you press your whole forearm down to the mat and your shoulders far away from your ears and five to your left bring it down with control squeezing the thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscle and four to your left three to the other side I can see the moon now <laughs> I wish I can have another cameraman here so and capture that so you guys can see it as well very good and two more times stay with your own breath and last one to the other side and slowly bring it down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now sit up again put your hand behind your hips still and close your elbows to the back lean backward close your elbows here and put your chest up lift your leg up to 90 degree here and to the other side dorsi flex with your feet now you want to inhale and lengthen one leg come back to the other side and bring it back really put your shoulders down far away from your ears and i want you to do it a couple more times so with your own breath so really lengthen your leg with someone pulling your leg away from your hips keep breathing we're going to do it eight more times each side here seven and six beautiful five lengthen come back to the other side four three two and last one to the other side and slowly bring it down hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now you want to allow yourself to again lean backward close your elbow to the back and then bend your knees 90 degree here now i want you to inhale and lengthen and come back keep breathing here with your own breath belly button in beautiful inhale lengthen exhale come back very good keep breathing and use the breath to control the movement eight more times there with your own breath i know it's challenging i really want you to try your best and if you ever feel like you need to modify it to make it easy you can always try to push each leg at a time otherwise i really want you to push both legs at a time like we are doing now very good and five four belly button all the way in three shoulders far away from your ears now last one and slowly bring it down Hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, very good. I want you to shake your legs, inhale deeply to your nose, exhale deeply through your mouth. Now the next movement, I want you to allow yourself to keep your forearms down and lengthen your legs here, put your shoulders far away from your ears. Now I want you to inhale and try to chin to chest, look towards the front and lift your hips as high as you can. Lift it here, hold it here for five, four three two and one slowly bring your legs down lift your legs all the way up activate your feet here now inhale and open your legs wider and then exhale come back and ten more times stay with your own breath so keep breathing really put your shoulders far away from your ears and you can always soften your knees if you need to or you can bend your knees to 90 degrees but I really want you to challenge yourself by lengthening your legs all the way up and squeezing the thighs when you bring your legs back to the center so we're gonna do it 10, 9, really engage your core, belly button in, 8, and 7, 6, slowly, really 
push your chest up and engage your core here and four three activate your feet two and the last one open and slowly bring it back hug your knee to your chest shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now you want to allow yourself to hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth okay now the next movement i wanted to allow yourself to lengthen your legs bend your knees 90 degree here and open your arms try to open your chest all the way up lengthen your spine now inhale and lift your arms all the way up exhale bring it down inhale lift and exhale down and eight seven really engage your core and it looks like we don't work your core here but we're actually working your whole upper body and your core as well by lengthening your neck and really pull your belly button towards the spine so we're gonna do it seven more times see with your own breath six and five four three belly button all the way into a last one and lift and then slowly bring your arm to the side lean backward chest open close your arm to the front now lengthen your leg and then come back so try to bring your leg your arms a little bit higher if you are beginner you can always put your hand behind your hips here for more support with your balance and keep breathing otherwise just really find a balanced spot lift your arms up and keep your arm parallel to your upper legs and eight more times each side try to activate your feet try to reach as far as you can beautiful to the other side and five to your left four keep breathing to the other side and three engage your core as much as possible two and the last one lift slowly and slowly bring it down hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now I want you to sit tall with your back in neutral, bring your arms to the front, palms facing each other and open your arm to one side, come back to your opposite side and back to center. I'm going to do it a couple more times so with your own breath. Make sure you press your sitting bones down to the mat, your legs and your hips are stabilized and only your arms and your torso is rotating. Very good, keep breathing, inhale and exhale, come back to the other side and back to the center. Squeeze in the thighs, lengthen your legs, and keep your legs open, hip width apart always. Make sure you keep your shoulders far away from your ears and really pull your belly button in. Your feet dorsiflex and press your heels down to the mat. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale, come back to the other side. And slowly bring your arms down. Rotate your shoulders and reverse. Now I want you to inhale and slowly bring your hands behind your back try to pull your finger towards the opposite way activate your feet keep your heels and your knees together now squeeze your thighs try to bring one leg up and to the side come back and down to your opposite side so inhale really make sure you press your hips down to the mat keep your hips stabilized and balanced and back to the center and to the other side and come back a couple more times stay with your own breath Squeeze your thighs when you try to bring your leg back to the center and this one is really challenging movement so I wanted to make sure you really engage your core keep your shoulders far away from your ears you can always bring your hands closer towards your hips and soften your elbows your fingers point towards the front if you want to make it a little bit easier and not hard on your elbows here so inhale open come back exhale to the other side really use the breath to control the movement here you can make a long inhale and to the other side exhale or you can just really listen to your body inhale lead open exhale come back and down so keep breathing here and a couple more times with your own breath make sure you always look towards the front and then flex forward hug your chin to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right let's sit tall again lengthen your spine belly button in and then bring your arms all the way up i want you to inhale and lean back one arms to the front shoulder blades down 
and chest open, lift your legs up and come back, arms up again. So this, you can always listen to your body if you're a beginner, you can just lift each leg at a time, don't have to bring both legs up at a time. Really engage your core and keep breathing. You want to really challenge yourself here. And if you want to make it even easier, you can just put your hand behind your hips and lean backward. And make sure when you do that, close your elbows to your back. So belly button in, squeeze your thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscles here. Now, don't see flex with your feet and I really want you to challenge yourself by lift your legs as high as you can with your shoulders still far away from your ears. Squeeze your thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscles. Try to touch your legs to your hands if you can. So keep breathing. Exhale, lift. Inhale down and bend your knee, hug your knee to your chest. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now this time i want you to allow yourself to open your legs if you the part bend your knees and press your feet down to the mat now i want you to inhale bring your hands next to your hips and try to push up to lift your hips up and down so when you do that i want you to make sure that you really engage your core here so you can bend your knees or you can lengthen your legs is really listen to your body to choose the position of your legs here. Make sure your shoulders are still far away from your ears when you lift it up and slowly bring it down. Inhale, lift, and we call this push up on sitting position. Inhale and exhale. I want you to really feel on your arms and your shoulders here and belly button in. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Make sure you still keep your legs parallel to each other. Now shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now the next movement, I want you to activate your feet. Plantar flex, bring your arms to the front. Now palms facing each other. Inhale, rotate your torso to one side. Come back to the other side. And back to the center. Shoulders down. Try to go all the way, all the range of movement here. And feel your oblique. It's twisting. Belly button in. Inhale halfway. Exhale, come back. Inhale to the other side and back to the center. Very good. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale to your opposite side. Make sure you squeeze your thighs and really stabilize your hips here. In two, to the other side. Now last one, to the other side and slowly come back. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Allow yourself to lean on one side to do side lift here. So, make sure your shoulder on top of your elbows, spread your whole forearms down to the mat and lift your waist up, shoulders far away from your ears, activate your feet, dorsiflex flex here, and inhale, hand behind your head, lift your top leg up and down, inhale, lift, exhale down, and a couple more times, so with your own breath, keep breathing, very good, inhale, and exhale, come back, squeeze your thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscles here, beautiful. Pull your belly button in to support your lower back and I want you to make sure you always lift your waist up and feel comfortable with your waist here. Now try to inhale and lift your hips as high as you can and come back. Now inhale reach and down and up and down. Belly button all the way in. Try to reach a little bit higher if you can. And really keep lengthening your neck here. Squeeze your booty, squeeze your thighs a couple more times here with your own breath. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Keep breathing. Squeeze your booty. Try to do it with control. And slowly hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. And if you're ready, just go to the other side to do silage again. Now again, shoulders on top of your elbows. Lift your waist up and shoulders far away from your ears. Belly button in. Press your whole forearm down to the mat. And lift your leg up and down. Make sure you keep your foot dorsi flex. Try to lift your leg as high as you can. And a couple more times, say with your own breath. Inhale and exhale and lift and down. Really engage your core. Make sure you always lift your waist up and pull your belly button in to support your lower back. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Couple more times, say with your own breath. Beautiful. Squeeze your body. Now, make sure you engage your core and slowly try to lift your hips as high as you can here. And then come back. Inhale up and exhale down. 
try to lift as high as you can really feel your upper leg here keep breathing this movement will help to shape your waist to a very beautiful V line so try to keep it as high as you can really feel the core working and burning there very good inhale and exhale and slowly hug your knee to your chest again sit up inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now you need to allow yourself to come all the way to your own four position open your arms shoulder apart and your legs a bit apart pull your belly button in and keep your shoulders far away from your ears lift your hips as high as you can come to reverse V and shift your weight to the front and then come back it again inhale shift and exhale lift make sure when you shift your weight to the front your shoulders on top of your wrist and lengthen your neck always bring your hips up look towards your heels and hips down look towards your fingers very good keep breathing and three engage your core as much as possible here two belly button in the last one lift and slowly bring it down and hold it here open your knees wider come back now make sure that you always keep your knees above the mat and your lower leg parallel to the floor here squeeze your thighs squeeze your booty really engage your core in three two and one slowly bring your knees down come to try pose inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth all right and when you're ready i want you to allow yourself to come back to on for position again put your shoulders far away from your ears and eyes on the elbow rotate to face each other and i want you to inhale and make sure your shoulder on top of your wrist lengthen your leg to the back and come to full plank here so this time tuck your foot engage your core inhale and lift one leg up open to the side come back and down to the mat to the other side open come back and down so really engage your core and pull your belly button all the way in keep breathing here with your own breath inhale lift open exhale come back and down and five more times here really contract your pelvic floor muscles four to the other side now make sure that you stabilize your hips here so only your legs are moving up and to the side squeezing the thigh to bring it back to the center and slowly come back and two dorsiflex flex with your feet lengthen your neck as always and last one lift open come back and slowly bring it down bend your knees come to try pose inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth you're gonna rotate your wrist a little bit and then reverse and when you're ready i want you to allow your start to sit all the way along the mat okay now I want you to again just sit in the middle of the mat open your legs see with a pattern put your hand behind your hips here close your elbows all the way to the back put your shoulders down far away from your ears lengthen your neck look towards the front so make sure that you don't pull your chin up to the, ski, to the sky because it's gonna put a lot of pressure on your neck so lean backward close your elbows and activate your feet here open your legs see with a pat inhale and lift one leg up exhale bring it down to the other side and come back so really engage your core and stabilize your torso here i'm going to do it five more times with your own breath so belly button in four to the other side and three more times here engage your core and squeeze in the thighs make sure you keep your knees at 90 degree and don't change the angle on your knees here and three keep breathing to the other side two more times with your own breath and last one lift and to the other side and slowly bring it down lengthen your spine hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right very good now you want to allow yourself to slowly lean backwards again and find a balanced spot on your sitting bones here so bring your arms up to the front slide back to open your chest and really engage your core here now lengthen your leg up so your lower leg parallel to the floor and to the other side activate your feet here so inhale engage your core and bring one leg down exhale lift to the other side and come back a couple more times stay with your own breath and belly button in and six to the other side 
really try to put the chest all the way up to really feel the car is working so hard here very good and three to the other side try to lengthen your arms keep your arms up a little bit higher if you can very good and two more times to each side with your own breath and the last one a little bit more just try you can do it and slowly bring your legs down hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth okay now from here the next movement i wanted to allow yourself to lengthen your legs all the way to the front dorsi flex with your feet put your hand behind your hips now close your elbows all the way to the back and lengthen lift your hips as high as you can and slowly bring it down we're going to do it 10 times so with your own breath so again inhale lift and exhale down chin to chest and make sure that you look towards the front don't point your chin up to the ceiling and eight very good keep breathing oh my god seven i'm not sure if you see that but just coming to a woman that do some bathing over there and just try to make friend very good so five more times there with your own breath and four i'm sure you see it three contract your pelvic floor muscles here and two more times there with your own breath and the last one lift and hold it here so i wanted to make plantar flex here try to keep your feet down inhale and lift your knee up so try to lift the hips as high as you can and keep the chin to the chest here now you want you to inhale and slowly bring your hips down all the way down to the mat and then one more time here just move your feet towards your hips here so inhale press your feet down and lift your hips as high as you can so keep breathing really engage your core here oh my god and slowly bring it down and slowly come back so three more times with your own breath inhale lift and exhale down make sure when you do this put your shoulders all the way down towards your hips and far away from your ears beautiful keep breathing and two more times stay with your own breath squeeze your booty muscles and last one inhale all the way up and exhale slowly bring it down hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now i want you to allow yourself to lean backward again and lift your legs up all the way up dorsi flex with your feet now open your chest really pull your belly button in and try to find a balanced spot here if you are a beginner you can always put your hand next to your chest or your hips here or behind your hips but i really want you to try to find a balanced spot here and really engage your core to support your lower back so contract your pelvic floor muscle inhale now try to bring your hands behind your knees here try to lengthen and slide your hand towards your ankle and lift it up and slowly bring it down to your opposite side and slowly bring it back so make sure that you open your chest engage your core now inhale lengthen exhale come back <sighs> inhale lengthen to the other side and exhale bring it back inhale lift and exhale down keep breathing here with your own breath burst like a superstar on the beach here yes, because everyone got to play with him very good keep breathing inhale and exhale to the other side so we're gonna do it two more times each side here with your own breath now try to really open your chest and always engage your core here I'm gonna do it two more times here with your own breath so inhale lengthen and exhale come back to your left bring it back dorsi flex with your feet always to the other side and to your left again and slowly bring it down hug your knee to your chest shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now the next movement i wanted to allow yourself to really lengthen your legs here and dorsi flex with your feet open your legs here with a part now keep your back lengthening here really pull your belly button in and shoulders down so arms to the front palms facing down to the mat inhale and exhale reach forward to the front and then come back drop your shoulders chest open exhale reach and inhale come back drop your shoulders again we're going to do it a couple more times here with your own breath belly button in and try to reach as far as you can and slowly bring it back and four belly button all the way in shoulders down and three more times stay with your own breath two very good and the last one reach and slowly bring it down and arms down rotate the shoulders fully to four directions and the reverse now the next movement i wanted to inhale and lean on one side so open your legs wider make a straight line from your heels 
to your hips here and bring your hand, your fingers point towards the other side. Inhale and lift your hips as high as you can. Bring your arm, your hand over your head and slowly bring it down again. So make sure when you do that, your shoulder on top of your wrist and the eyes on the elbow just rotate to facing the front. Inhale, lift and exhale down. Try to lift your hips as high as you can here. Soften your elbows so you don't put a lot of pressure on your wrist here. We're going to do it four more times. Stay with your own breath. Inhale all the way up and exhale down. And three. Very good. Two. And last one, lift. And slowly bring it down. And I want you to allow your side to come to the other side. Open your legs wider. And they call this side lift. So again, eye on the elbow, just rotate to the front. Now inhale and lift your hips as high as you can. Exhale, bring it down. Couple more times, stay with your own breath. And keep breathing. Belly button all the way in. Beautiful. Inhale, lift. And exhale down. And four more times, stay with your own breath. Come back. Three. Beautiful. Really try to lift your hips as high as you can. The high gaze as you can. And two. And slowly bring it down. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to the center. And really cross your leg here. And then lengthen your spine. Open your arm to the side. Soften your elbows and palms facing to the front. Rotate the torso to one side. And exhale. Come back to your opposite side. And slowly bring it back to the center. We're going to do it five more times. Stay with your own breath. So keep breathing to your opposite side. And bring it back and forth. Belly button all the way in. Three. Beautiful. And two more times, stay with your own breath to the other side. And the last one, do it slowly and as long as you need. Slowly, palms facing down to the mat. I want you to inhale and try to reach your hands all the way to one side and to your opposite side. And five more times, stay with your own breath. So keep breathing. Four. To the other side. And three, try to reach your hand a little bit further. And two more times, stay with your own breath. Really pull your belly button in. And the last one, to your opposite side and slowly back to the center. Lift your arms all the way up and interlace your fingers. Now reach your hands, lift and down, and lift and down. And five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring your arm to the side. Now I want you to keep your hands to the U ladder here and wrap close your arms to the front try to keep your elbows and your hands together here and then open inhale and exhale bring it back your upper arm all the way parallel to the floor and then come back so four more times stay with your own breath do it really slowly with your own breath and use the breath to control the movement here as always i have to say it all the time because i know sometimes that you just focus on the core and just forgot about the breath so it's really important and now two more times stay with your own breath and the last one and open and slowly bring your arms down rotate the shoulders fully to four directions in five four three two and one reverse so keep breathing here in five four three two and one now lengthen your spine and put your hand on opposite knee rotate your torso to the back really engage your core and keep breathing here inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and to the other side here inhale and exhale and slowly bring it back to the center rotate your ankle fully to four directions now reverse interlace your finger again keep your forearms parallel to the floor and push your arm all the way to the side and now I want it from here just keep your hand touch hand palms um, hand your palms toss each other here and then lengthen your arms to the front and then come back and then slowly move it to the side push it a little bit long further and then again lengthen and slowly bring it back and slowly back to the center and hands down rotate your shoulders fully to four directions now reverse all right now the next movement i want you to allow yourself to bring your arm to the side inhale and lean on one side exhale come back to the center inhale to the other side and exhale, bring it back to the center, inhale, and exhale, and lengthen, 
to the other side. So five more times, stay with your own breath and keep breathing. Lift and down and four. Really engage your core here. Feel your waist is lengthening to the other side. And three more times, just slowly with your own breath to your opposite side. Two, lengthen, come back to the right, to your left, and slowly bring it back to the center and hands down. Rotate your shoulders fully to four direction and reverse again. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Now you're going to slowly inhale, arch your back and look up to the ceiling, shoulders down, far away from your ears, cat and co in sitting position, and round your spine, in the chest. And we're going to do it two more times, stay with your own breath, and round your spine slowly. Now the last one, just hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one, round your spine, and hold it for five, four, three, chin to chest, two, and one, lengthen your spine, rotate the head around your neck, inhale halfway, and exhale halfway, and two more rounds here, use your own breath. Now reverse. Very good. And that's the work after today. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'm so happy that you completed. Congratulations, because you are amazing. You completed the two hours workout, and I'm really proud of you and let me know how do you feel after the workout also if you have any workout request please let me know as well i hope that you feel happy and feel stronger after this special workout and again happy anniversary thank you so much for joining me for the last year and i really hope to always can be with you to stay strong and to be healthy together so let's see each other tomorrow on the next workout Bye.